Gamers, the Android emulator scene is exploding. From Xbox and PlayStation to even Valorant Mobile, a brand new era of gaming is here and it's happening faster than anyone expected. And it's happening way faster than anyone expected. Let's dive in. Big news for PlayStation 3 emulation on Android. RPCSX, the PS3 emulator, is back with another brand new update. The latest version shows that the developers are still actively improving the emulator. Keep in mind, RPCSX is still very experimental, so you won't get full God of War 3 or other heavy PS3 games running perfectly just yet. The most exciting change is x86-64ABI support, which may sound technical, but it's a big step toward better compatibility and smoother performance on more devices. Slowly but surely, RPCSX is becoming one of the most promising PS3 emulators for Android. PS2 on Android is getting a huge upgrade. The new emulator ARM SX2, built on PCSX2 and optimized for ARM64, is making serious progress. The devs are now working on turnip driver support, which means if you've got a Snapdragon with an Adreno GPU, expect a big performance boost. Right now, there's no public release yet, but when it drops, it'll be on the official GitHub or Discord. The new game hub, version 4.1.5 update brings major improvements for a smoother gaming experience. The PC emulator has been comprehensively optimized, along with full support for Mali GPU devices to ensure wider compatibility. The cloud gaming channel has received a major upgrade, allowing players to instantly enjoy 3A games with better performance. A redesigned interface and settings menu overhaul make navigation easier and more user-friendly. Gameplay is now more seamless with improved controller pairing support, while overall user experience has been optimized by fixing known issues and potential bugs during installation and uninstallation. Valorant Mobile is finally here. That's right, no PC, no cloud gaming, no emulator tricks. This is the official Valorant Mobile published by Tencent Games under Riot Games. Currently, it's in early beta in China, but you can play it from anywhere using a VPN. Everything in-game is in Chinese, but the UI closely matches the PC version, making navigation simple. Best of all, this isn't cloud-streamed, it's native Valorant on your phone, complete with all maps, agents, and abilities from the PC version. Sideloading ban could hurt emulators. Google's new 2026 security rules could change everything for Android emulation. Starting September 2026, all developers, even those outside the Play Store, will need to verify their identities. That means sideloading might not be as easy as it is today. For emulator fans, this could be a huge problem, since most projects aren't on the Play Store. Unless Google adjusts the rules, emulation on Android may face its biggest hurdle yet. Rainbow Six Mobile Tactical Shooter Action on Your Phone From the acclaimed Rainbow Six Siege franchise, Rainbow Six Mobile brings competitive multiplayer tactical combat to Android and iOS. Compete in the classic attack versus defense rounds, alternating each match as an attacker or defender in fast-paced PvP battles. Face intense close-quarter combat while making strategic decisions, and choose from a roster of highly trained operators, each with unique abilities and gadgets. Xbox on Android? It's happening, kind of. Xbox emulation on mobile is extremely demanding, and there's currently no true emulator that can run original Xbox or Xbox 360 games smoothly on Android. Previously, players relied on XB Play or Better X Cloud, but both required a paid membership and a stable internet connection. One experimental project, the Xanite emulator claimed to support Xbox Original and Xbox 360, received mixed reactions, but its first release faced heavy backlash since it couldn't run any games. Another plan involves porting a popular Xbox 360 emulator to Android by the same developer behind the PS3 Android emulator APS3E. But for now, they're focused on PS3 emulation first. So, unfortunately, we'll have to wait a bit longer before Xbox games truly run on Android. 